Hello everyone. This is a quick tutorial on how to take your 3D SketchUp model and print it in a Lost Voltas 3D print. I have a tube here, has holes on every side. First thing you want to do is make sure it's your make it as a group, one part. And after that, you also need to make sure that you're positioning your part the way you would like the printer to print it. Right now if I set this tube flat the printer will have a hard time printing it and it won't print correctly. And after that the next step needs to be exported to an STL file. You need to download a plugin for that. I already downloaded. So I'm gonna go to tools, export to STL. I'm gonna choose inches, select STL, OK. I'm gonna save it here in the tube. I click save. You click OK. Most likely that you're gonna run into problems with your STL files because the way Slicer works, it needs to be your, your file needs to be in a certain way. So what you need to do is to fix your STL file. There's softwares that can help you do this. The way I use is I use a, a cloud service called cloud.netfab.com. I'm gonna go to cloud.netfab.com. I'm going to choose the file that I need to be repaired, save my documents, I will go to tube, here's my tube that needs to be repaired, I'm going to provide them with my email address, choose inches, I accept, and upload it to cloud, and, and it will take them after uploading about 10-15 seconds to fix your file, and they will send you an email notifying you of that, and they keep your file, your, both your uploaded file and your fixed file for 8 days in case you needed them. So I'm gonna go ahead already and open my email just to be ready for them. Ten seconds remain. Alright. As you can see I already received the email right away from them, process and finished. I'm going to click at the link they sent me and voila, here's my original file I uploaded and here's my repaired file and usually you can see a 3D view of it but my computer is being slow now so we're going to skip this I'm going to click download I'm going to download it where I had my files tube I'm going to download it here you can see it keep the same name and it just give you in order to say this is a fixed file after that you can go ahead and delete your old mfix file I'm going to click save on it after that you need to go ahead and slice your program in order for you to be able to export it to G-code. So go ahead and open Slicer. Make sure first you load configuration you want to use. There's several of them. I use the 35 nozzle draft. After that I'm going to go to my filament settings. And you got to make sure that your extruded temperature and bed temperature is setting is set it to the correct temperature you're going to use 230 for in my case, we're going to use AB, ABS plastic, 230. And for the bed under extruder, you could, I could set it to 110, both of them, or I could leave it at 0. 0 means that it's going to take whatever temperature you put in printer face, which is the software that controls the printer. So I'm going to go ahead actually and leave it at 0 here, just to have a variety. After that, all you need to do is just add your file. Of course, make sure I'm going to delete this unfixed one. And then I'm going to put my fixed file in here. And you can, Slicer will provide you with one layer to view. And after that, you're ready to export to G code and hit save. And this is a long tube, it's about 9 inches, so it's going to take a while for it, maybe like a few minutes. So we're going to go ahead and wait for it to export to G code. I'm going to pause here. Alright, so slice I have finished exporting my G code. After that, you can go ahead and minimize that or close it. I'm gonna open printer face. I already have it open here. I have two of them open. The first thing you need to do is make sure you're set into the cor correct conf or port. Once the first time you hook up your printer, your computer will assign you a port number. For my case, it assigned me COM6. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose COM6 and connect to the printer. Once you connect it, you, sh you should receive a message saying you're online. The first thing you want to do also is make sure you monitor your printer. Then go ahead and set your temperature, your extruded temperature and bed temperature. I'm using ABS filaments, so 230 degrees Celsius here and 110 here. 
I'm gonna set both of them. While you're waiting for your uh, extruder and bed to hit, go ahead and load your file documents. Here's my G code. And yeah, you can go ahead and click on it and then go ahead and go through the layers. There's 600 layers. Let's just have an idea how your part look like. All right, and then you just need to wait for your extruder and bed to heat up and then you'll be set to go. All you need to click is print and you'll be done.